find yourself a nice place, okay? Just have a little relax and just rest. Let's try and forget all that panic a minute ago about logging in and being able to hear each other, okay? So this is your time to just take a moment to relax and think about you and your body, all right? So we're just going to do some little rolls of the shoulders. Really good to help yourselves relax. Just little circles backwards. Thinking about your breath, taking a nice breath in and out. And then roll the shoulders forward, bringing those arms forward as you do. Lovely. Good. Then we're going to think about our posture and our hips. And we're just going to do that little pelvic tilt where you tilt the, the pelvis backwards and forwards. So we can tuck the tummy under, tuck that tailbone under, and then out. Tuck it in, tuck it out. Just to move in that hip and the pelvis. Just tucking in. Good. Lovely. Just getting that lower back to move. Then we're going to just tilt and lift each hip. So you're just going to shorten the side. Lift in, lift in. So we're just shortening as if we're crunching those sides up. Just coming up onto the toe one side, toe the other. So it just looks like this. Toe. So good. And then we're going to do a full circle. We're just going to circle those hips nice and loose. Round we go. And then we're going to go the other way. Take your time. Enjoy that little movement. We don't often move gently like this around those hips and lower back. Lovely. And standing nice and tall. So heels together. Don't fix the knees, just keep nice and soft. A little squeeze at the bottom, nice and tight in the tummy. And we're going to do our breathing with our chest opener. Okay, so as you breathe in through your nose, take the arm back, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And we're just going to do this for a few times. Take your time. Try not to turn your hips. So the body's facing still towards me. And it's a chance to open up your arm here. Breathing in. And out. Let's do one more each side. Here we go. Lovely deep breath in. And out. In. And out. Lovely. Okay, just bring in the heels straight. So your feet are nice and straight underneath your hips. Good. Okay, we're going to do our little reach up. Reach down and a little side bend. So lovely and graceful. Stretching upwards, stretching down. So you're pulling your body up as tall as you can. And a little bend. And again, reach up and down. Stretch. Good. And I'm taking our time today. Up we go. Down and over. Trying to keep that core engaged. One more each side. Up, stretch, and over. And here we go again. One more time. Down and over. Good. That's warmed up the sides. We're going to do a little bit more side. We've got our Cossack arms. We're not going to do our legs, just our arms. So we're going to stand lovely and tall. Tuck that tailbone under. And we're going to turn to the side. Try to keep the nose level with either your watch or your wristband if you've got one on. So that you don't lead with the arms. You stay central. Hips pushing forward. Just rotate in the back. Pulling that tummy in. Standing lovely and tall. Last one. Good. And arms down. Give them a little shake. Lovely. So we're going to go from a very narrow squat where we sit right back. Okay. Just make sure those knees don't go over the toes. All the weight goes back onto your bottom as you sit down. We're going to be doing a narrow squat. Then we're going to take a step to the side and do a squat down. Come back to the middle. Do one of those narrow squats again. Sitting right back on those heels and pushing your bottom back. And take a step to the other side. 
and sit down. Good. As if you're sitting on a chair. So down in the middle, a little narrow one. You might not be able to go so far when it's narrow. Then we take a step and we might be able to go a little bit deeper. Squeeze the bottom as you come back up. Little narrow one. Sitting back, weight over the heels. Wide and a bit deeper. Squeeze, let's do one more little narrow one. One more wide to the right. Little narrow one again. And the last one to the left, here we go. That's warming those legs up, good. Squeeze in the bottom as you come up, lovely. And nice, just loosen off those hips. Nice little circles. Just little gentle, opening the legs. Circles, if you're drawing like a circle with that knee. Lovely, good. Cool. Now, just thinking about balance a little bit here. So we've got to stay lovely and tall. Make sure your ribs are away from your hips and your posture's good. And we're going to just do a little tap to the front, tap to the back with one leg, and it's just going to swing there and there. Trying to keep nice and controlled. If you need to tap it halfway to the balance, that's okay. Just pop it down. See if you can do one more. Front to back. Lovely. That standing leg starts to ache a little, so we're going to change over. Stay nice and tall, little tap to the front, round to the back. Tap to the front, all the way round. Nice soft knee on the standing one, always be nice and soft, so it's got a little bend. And one more. Lovely. Good, okay. So we're going to take that a little bit further. We do curtsy, our curtsy position, so we're going to Tap at the front, all the way round into a little curtsy, and then come back up. Then we're going to tap the other leg to the front, all the way round into a little curtsy. So this is a little bit of control with our balance move, isn't it? This is the balance. Then here we're going down and it's working the legs. Good. Lovely. <laughs> the wobble. So tap at the front, leg all the way round. And down into our little curtsy. I don't know quite why I do it like that. <laughs> One more each leg. Little tap. Round and down. Lovely and controlled. Good. Working the hips, the knees and everything. Tap. Round we go. And down. That's the last one of those. Good. Lovely. So we're going to just do our roll down, which is our chin onto our chest. As you know, shoulders come forward. Rolling down the body. Holding the tummy in. All we go down, just reaching down towards the floor. Let the head hang, the arms hang. Okay, and then slowly pull the tummy in, squeeze the bottom and pull yourself up. All the way, lovely and tall. Reaching up to the ceiling and a little lean back if your back's okay to do that. You're going to go one more time, chin to chest. Shoulders forward, hands rolling down. Down we go. Hang in for a second, and then pull the tummy in, squeeze the bottom, and then roll them back up. Hands go up to the top. Okay, lovely. I'm just going to get you to pedal your feet, so we just do a little like a march, pedaling those feet. That's it, as if we're rushing off, got to walk quickly. <laughs> so it's just a little pedal of those feet. Lovely. I'm just going to change the music a second. Well done. Take on some water if you need to. Well done. Hopefully you should feel nice and warm. Okay. So we're going to grab our ball just as a focus point for some of it. Okay. So this is where we're going to sort of flow through the mood. It's going to be our interval where we do something for a minute and then we have a 30 seconds rest. Okay. All right. So our first one is going to be that chest opener, but we're going to add the fact that we're holding the ball. So it's gripping. Okay. It's helping the hand with the grip. So you can grip the ball. And you're taking the ball back as the focus. Change hands. Out we go. Change hands. Out we go. Trying to keep the hips forward, but trying to open that shoulder across here as much as possible. We're stopping us from doing this. We want to open the chest out. Okay. Then we're going to have a side reach, which is just taking and we swap the ball. Side reach. 
it's almost like you've got to reach and put that ball onto something over there. So you're just going to reach out to the side, try to keep the tummy engaged and try not to stick the bottom out, tuck that tailbone under so that when you reach, you're protecting your back. Okay, so that's the first one. And in between, we are just going to do a little toe tap to the front. Okay, all right, that is your rest, your active rest. No rest for the wicked here, okay? I'll just show you the next move and then I can explain things as we go. The next one's going to be our over the top where we do a little lean and we pass the ball over to the top, over the top, over the top, good. And then we are just gonna go into that step to the side, squat, back up, step to the other side, squat, back up. And then again, it's just gonna repeat, okay? So that's how that one's gonna go. And what do we do in between? We're just going to do a little tap to the front. Okay, just practicing the balance. If you want your chair handy um, for a little bit of support, you can grab it now. All right. Okay, um, I will show you the others because they're slightly, we're going to pop the ball down for the next one. And we're going to do our VW squat. So this is the V. Okay. And then we go down into a W. So I'm going to go a little bit wider with my feet. V, W. Can you see that the shape is a V and then we make a W. And what I'd like you to do is try and squeeze those shoulder blades. So instead of sort of coming down here in front, try and get the arms nicely squeezed so that you're going to work the upper back, okay? See if you can squeeze those arms back. But if you need to take your arms down at any time, by all means do, okay? So it's going to be a VW, two of those, okay? And then you're going to reach your elbow across the body. So it's just take the elbow, take the elbow. Then we go VW for a couple. Then it's elbow, elbow, GW, and the elbow. So when you take the elbow across the body, you're twisting the body, but you lift the heel up on this foot, okay? So you're nice and moved across. You're not twisting the body. You're just coming up nice and loosely. All right? And the very last one, um, we're going to do our curtsy that we were doing a minute ago. Tap, curtsy, tap. Curtsy. So we're going to do half of the minute on one leg and then we're going to do half the minute on the other leg. Okay. All right. And we're going to do some of these little heel digs as one of our rests, just like we do in our um, country song that we do. Yeah. Okay. So just those little heel digs. Okay. Cool. Should we give it a go? So grab your ball. I'm going to pop the music on. You are going to get a little bit warmer in this one, but it's good to raise that intensity just a little bit. You know the music. She's going to count us in. All right. So to find yourself in a comfy place. So just to remind you again, it's chest opener, chest opener, side reach, side reach. And that's our, are you ready? Lovely deep breath. Here we go. So open, side bend. So reach, reach. And again, so open. That chest, and again, side. So, now you know what you're doing. Let's think about the tummy. Holding that core. So it's nice and strong here. So it just rotates around those two moves. Good. Here we go. Open. Open. Nice, just little gentle moves. Just keep them going. Little look over the shoulder and out. In a second, she's going to count us down to finish. Here we go. And got a little tap. I just want you to just lift the leg. Just doing a little tap. Stay nice and tall. Tummy in. Nice and tall. Just little tap. Okay. While you're doing that, I'll just remind you the next move is over the top, over the top, side squat, side squat. Are you ready? Here she goes, counting this in. So, nice little reach. Then we go, step side, side, getting those legs in. Over we go. Over we go and sit down. That's it. Really sit back, bursting through those trousers. 
and again, sit back. If it's a bit fast for you, you just do it in your own pace, it's fine. So over the top, changing hands, and then a little squat, step out, step out, over the top, like I say, take your time if you need to, if you're getting a bit warm. Here we go. Lovely movement of the back here. Great. Good. Okay, so rest in, active rest, other leg, little tap. Standing nice and tall, little bit, nice deep breath. This is your time to rest. Good. Our next move, pop the baller down. We got our VW. Okay, our VW, VW. Really squeezing those shoulders back. Are you ready? Nice deep breath. And then the elbow across, sorry. Here we go, so V, W. Two of these, then body across. Body, body. And again, V, W. Two, cross the body. One, two. Good, lovely. One across. Take your time. And really pushing the elbows back. Open the chest. Good. Really helps with posture. Keeping those shoulders back. Here we go. Looking good, everyone. And again. Reach. Okay, lovely. So our little heel digs. Little heel, just little heel digs. That's your rest in between. Take some nice deep breaths. We're nearly there. So we have our curtsy. Little tap. Curtsy, it just means you're basically going down on the same side for a bit. If that's too much for you at any point, just stop. Have a little rest and wait for the other side. Are you ready? Deep breath. Two, one. So a little curtsy, tap. Curtsy, tap. Curtsy. You could do this with a chair if you want a little bit of support for any sore knees. Just don't go too far, just a little, a little one. You work within your ability. It's going to stay halfway in a minute. We're going to change legs. You'll be pleased. <laughs> okay. Here she comes. Let's change leg. And other side. Little tap. So we're resting one leg, working the other. A little curtsy. Just pretend you're meeting the queen. Just go shallow if you want, just a little one. Oh, lovely. And I just want you to just loosen those legs up. A few little knee lifts. Fabulous. Okay. That's the hard work done, ladies. I'm going to pop some nice calm music on and we're going to have some more stretching moves. Okay. Oh. Well done. Well done. We're all quite warm. Did we take the jumper off? Have we got the jumper off? <laughs> oh dear, she didn't come prepared for that. Okay, if you have a chair, bring it into view, that's it. Just for a little bit of support. Okay. Facing the chair. We're just going to do our little sit back. As if you're sitting on the chair and then you're going to come nicely up onto your toes. You've got the chair for support, but we're going to try and stay as tall as we can. And then we're going to go down. Start to stretch all the muscles we've used. Nice and tall. Lovely. And down. And up we go. Let's do that one more time. Down. Sitting back. Make sure that bottom goes back and you don't come forward. And up. 
Lovely. I want you to lean on the chair. Lean forward because we're just going to do some little pulses with one leg. So I want you to lean forward so you're not pinching your lower back. Little lift. Little squeezes of that glute. Another muscle really important for posture and day-to-day -day activities. Okay, let's change. So changing leg. Take the other one out the front. Try and keep the hips pointing towards the chair. Try not to turn. Lovely. Nice little gentle pulses. Okay. So in that same position, we're going to do our Superman. So that means you take the left leg and the right arm. And they're just going to go up and down again. And then up and down. I want you to stretch all the way down your body as if somebody's pulling your hand and somebody's pulling your foot away. So it's a case of stretch yourself. And again, stretching. Oh, I'm going to have to change that music. Sorry, I'll put that. Thinking that piece was a bit longer, excuse me. <sighs> Here we go. Okay, let's change legs. So we're going to have left arm, right leg. Yeah, okay. So left arm, right leg. Nice big stretch. And in. And it's that reaching across the body. You should be able to feel that all the way down the tummy as well as the leg and the arm that you're using. Couple more, let's stretch like Superman. That's why it's called Superman, because he flies away. <laughs> so we're Superman. I think he used to go like that though, didn't he? <laughs> Stretching, lovely, okay. And let's just give those legs a little pedal. Cool, some stretches coming now. So, our cat cow, we're gonna use the chair because we're not going on the floor today. We're gonna round our back. I want you to round right from your bottom, soft knees, round everything, push the back up like a cat does. And then I want you to push that chest down and really force the tummy and the chest down towards the floor, sticking the bottom out, give it a wiggle. And then round the back, back up. Tuck the tummy under, pull the bottom in, round the back. And just do this in your own time for a few, just going between one and the other. Feeling that your back is really moving. You might be stiff in certain places. So just make sure you get some movement in. Looking good, that's it. One more down and one more up. Good. Now slightly different, we used to do this in the hall against the wall. We're gonna use the chair and I want you to drop your head between your shoulders if you can, as long as you don't feel dizzy and you're okay. Now this you can feel in the back of the shoulders and the upper back and it gives you a bit of a stretch in a different position. So the back's nice and flat and the head's hanging down. And before you get too dizzy or anything, just slowly come on up. Take your time coming up, make sure the blood goes back <laughs> in the right places. Good, okay. So we're just going to do a couple of little bends towards the chair. So stand sideways on and just use the chair to lean on. Try not to collapse, try and do them nice and long and tall. So nice and long and tall. One more. Lovely. I'm just gonna spin my chair around, but you can go around to the other side of your chair or face the other way, it's up to you. And we're just gonna do the same again. We've got the chair to lean against. So you can have a nice big stretch down that side. Good. Lovely. One more. Super. Okay. We're going to go into our calf position. So from the side, it's where you push your foot back. This one's straight and the front one's bent. Once you get into that calf position, take one arm across and hug it in with the other arm. You should feel a little pull maybe across the back of the arm, stretching out those shoulders. We use those a lot today. And you should feel that in the lower part of your leg, down in the calf. Okay. Good, let's change over. Change to the other leg. Once you're nice and steady, take the arm across and pull it in.
super. So if you do, if your arms ache a little bit after what we've done, this is a nice stretch to do to the arms and the shoulders. So just carefully bring the chair around. Just make sure it's sturdy enough for me, please. Okay. And just, if you can pop your foot on, if that's okay, and then just sink into it a little bit without the chair moving, without the chair wobbling. You're just trying to stretch the glutes and the hamstrings. Good, just leaning forward into it. Basically does it, that's it, good. And then we're gonna change leg. And again, just putting that foot down carefully, making sure it's secure before you then rock forward. Okay, lovely. And it also stretches the hip flexor here as well as that leg, so it's a double, double whammy. Fabulous, well done. Okay, all right, so we're gonna pop the chair to one side a little bit more so you've got a bit more space again. Okay. So we're going to finish the session with some nice breathing again. We're going to use, do our traditional one, our out and then to the side and then dip because we've been using those moves today. So it's a good one. So this is all thinking about the posture, your breathing and just getting you calmed down for the rest of the day. Are you ready? So as we breathe in, we take the arm up and back. Then as we breathe out, and then out into the side and out. Then a little dip, so just bend the knee. Brush the floor. Up we go. And then we're breathing in and out. Little brush of the floor. Good. One more. Up to the top and back. Out to the side. And little brush of the floor. And we've got one more to finish on the other side. Out we go. Little reach. And a little dip. Good. We've just got one more. We're going to dip with both hands, bend the knees, taking them both up to the ceiling, lovely and tall, out to the side, and bring yourself back here. Ah, well done. We got there. Teamwork. Excellent. Well done, everyone. Good, good, good.